Hi, Ben Hem. It's Wednesday, April 1st, and I'm very excited because I just got in a shipment that I've been waiting for for about a week now. And so I wanted to show it to you and, and explain to you why I got it and what we're going to do with it. So here we go. Okay, in this box, you'll see I got a bag from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. And yes, uh, this is not an April Fool's joke. I did get a giant bag of about 200 worms. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and take a look inside and see what we have. Now the reason why I got worms is because a couple of years ago for the farm, we, or for the garden, sorry, for the garden, we got um, this worm bin. And for a year, we went ahead and composted with worms. We call them red wigglers. And they um, are awesome. They, they uh, chew through a lot of compost and they leave us with excellent soil. I'm gonna put the phone down for one second so that I can open this. They give us excellent soil that we can use in our garden, but they also um, give us this, what we call worm juice. Uh, and it's the liquid that comes from the, the worms and the compost, and you can just water that over your plants, and they call it liquid gold. And it's because it is very nutrient rich, and it gives your plants a lot of things it needs to grow. So here we go. Let's see if I can do this without covering the light. So you can see a bunch of them just moving around. And what we are going to do is we are going to prepare the worm bin for these worms and move them to their new home because they need to get some moisture and food right away so that way they've been in shipping and we don't want them to die off, okay? So, put this on the saddle leaf in there. I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera again. Okay, we're back. So, what I have here is I have a little bucket with some water in it. Um, when I got the worm factory tower, it came with the um, materials needed to start new worms. So what we have to do is we have to soak this core, which is coconut core. This is gonna be kind of the starting material for our worms. So I'm gonna put this in the water and we're gonna let it soak that up and then it'll start to break apart. We wanna make sure that the core is moist and easy to break apart, but not soaking wet. Again, we don't wanna drown our um, worms. This right here is pumice. It's a type of stone. And we're gonna mix half a bag in there as well. Um, and that is going to allow for airflow and also to make sure that any water that we do put in there, any moisture from the food that we put in there, again, doesn't over soak the, the soil and drown our worms. So this is gonna help with that. Um, and then we also have some minerals that are going in there as well. Um, and this is just nutrients for our, um, for our worms. Okay, it helps them to process any waste that we put in the tower with them. So I'm going to kind of flip this core over. You can see that it's starting to come apart um, as it soaks. So I'm gonna let it soak on the other side while I break this apart. And as that's working, I'm gonna also go ahead and put a half a bag of this pumice in here. It looks like I opened this one already, so. I'm going to put in the majority of this one. Not put too much, I'll save the rest. And then we're going to just put in um, two capfuls of the minerals. And we have to do this every time we start a new tray. And I'll tell you what I mean by starting a new tray in a moment. So that is now working. All right, so this core is really starting to come apart. I'm gonna break it up and then just add a little bit more water. So that way some of these chunks um, come, come apart a little bit more easily. All right, 
And I'm gonna let this sit for a moment. And when we come back, I'm going to just break up some paper. We had to put a handful of shredded paper in here um, because our uh, worms are gonna eat about 50% uh, of their daily food is going to be kitchen scraps and 50% is going to be fiber, which can be from paper, cardboard, things like that. So I am going to go ahead and go grab some paper. Okay, I'm back. So now I just need to break up this core a little bit more. It comes right apart now that it's soaked in. And I grabbed some paper from our shredder. So luckily it's already in nice small pieces for me. And so I just wanna go ahead and add in a handful of the paper. And I'm gonna mix that up. Okay, now I'm gonna take the top off of our worm factory. And when I talk about a tray before, this is what it is. It's just a little box and it has perforation on the bottom. So while the worms are in this tray, I'm gonna put this soil mixture that we just did in here. Um, first, I'm gonna put down just a little bit of, um, like one light layer of uh, newspaper here. Um, and then we'll put the soil on. And then uh, our worms are going to be fed a diet of um, paper fiber and then also um, compost which we'll bring down um, from just our, our food that we're eating here at the house and what will happen is any liquid um, that they generate is going to pass through these little holes and it's going to go into this bottom tray and it collects and there's a little nozzle here that you can open and close in order to drain that liquid out um, as it collects. So, uh, and that's what we can use in the garden. And then once a tray is complete and it's full of just nice soil, what we do is we then grab another tray, put this um, type of uh, soil mixture in it, along with some food pieces. We place that right on top of the full tray and we stop feeding the bottom tray. And what will happen is that the worms will pass through the holes of the second tray and eventually they'll all go up to the next level and then you can just take the bottom tray and go use it in your garden um, and then you're going to be feeding the ones in the second tray so we have four trays i've never been able to get this to four trays before so hopefully um, since we have plenty of time on our hands right now i will be able to accomplish that so i'm going to just go ahead and grab a sheet of newspaper mixture in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this little um, bowl here so that way if for some reason I don't have this turned the right way it collects anything that's coming out of the, um, the worm farm until I notice it and fix it. Last thing I want is worm juice all over my rug. Okay. So now that we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and take our bag of worms and I am going to just dump the whole thing right into our worm farm. Oh, this looks so cool. All right, I have to bring you over here to take a look at all of our worms moving around. I'm gonna pick some up here just so you can see it better those worms. If you're not a fan of worms, this might be a nightmare for you. But if you're a gardener, this probably looks like the best thing in the world. All right, I'm going to put them in. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to smooth them out a little bit. Now, 
some of our worms may die off eventually because of shipping, um, but the good thing is they just compost and then they rep reproduce very quickly. So even though we have, I think I got like two or 500, I don't remember how many worms, um, they're gonna multiply. Um, and so we're gonna have a lot more than that in here eventually if we kept them, keep them well fed. So next thing I wanna do to make sure that we retain the moisture in this bin is I'm going to fold a couple layers of this newspaper to be about the size of the actual bin itself. And we are going to moisten it. And this is just going to make sure that the moisture stays in the bin itself. Let's see if I can do this, eyeball this and get it right. Um, and then each time we come to feed the worms, a little bit smaller, then all I have to do is just lift this up, throw some food in there, and then put it back down again. All right. This should be good. Yep, that works. Okay, so now we have our newspaper layer down, and now I'm just gonna pour some water over it. Let that soak in. Okay, so I don't have any compost yet. Um, I, I or any like food scraps yet because I haven't been saving it. Um, but I'm about to go cook dinner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up there. Um, cook and eat dinner, then I'll come back and I'm gonna start adding some food scraps in here for the worms. And we'll check on this uh, occasionally and I'll upload some pictures, just what it's looking like. Um, so you can see, it's, it's really cool once the, the uh, worms actually get into the scraps and you can kind of see all the holes and you can start seeing it being um, chewed apart. So I'll post that soon. Okay, I'm back from dinner and I have my table scraps here. Uh, we made some applesauce, so I've got lots of apple peels and cores. Um, and then I also have a banana because my son dropped it on the floor and some banana peels. So I've got my lunch lady gloves on just because I don't want to get my hands all really gross. Um, oop, they're already trying to jump ship. Uh, so I came down here to bring some of this food down to our worms. And a couple of them are already crawling up the walls here. So I'm going to Toss them back in. Come on. Okay. Part of the reason they're trying to climb up the walls is because they want some more food. And I haven't given them any yet. So I'm going to put them back in there. Probably have them on the other side of here as well. Nope. We're good. Okay. So when we're putting our food into the bin, we just want to make sure that we kind of cut it up into smaller pieces. Um, it'll decompose. Uh, they'll be able to chew it up a lot faster if I do that. So I'm just gonna take some scissors and I'm going to just cut this up into smaller pieces. Right. Now this banana is probably fine as is, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it up as well. As long as we're feeding them, they will stay put. I have some potato peels as well. We made some mashed potatoes. I'm gonna put a couple of these cores in um, just as they are, just cause it's kind of fun to see the, um, the worms tunnel through them. And then um, there's other things I can put in here as well. I'll probably put in some coffee grinds. Um, I'm gonna put in, uh, my, I'm gonna be giving my dog a haircut soon. And so I'm gonna probably throw some of his hair um, that I cut off in there. Um, just whatever I can find. Um, the only things we don't really wanna put in here are dairy, meats. Um, they honestly, they do still decompose but um, they start to smell after a while and, and I really don't want that in my workspace. So I have all the food in there. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. 
All right. Some of those worms who tried to climb the wall are now trying to climb back up again. They probably sense the food is there. And then also, anytime I add in food, I want to add in some more paper fiber as well. And these worms can eat up to about a half a pound of fiber a day. So I'll add that in there. And then I'm going to take my damp newspaper cover, put that back over, and then put the lid back on. All right, and we'll check back in on it tomorrow and see what progress they've made. Have a good night.